Assalamu alaikum. Today I will discuss about the number of fingerlings that we have to release in a pond. What should be the number? And which fish or which fingerling that we will select for releasing the uh, fingerling in our pond? Uh, we have to mind it that there was a conception in us the fishes of different layers that the silver carp and big head with katla these are the fishes of the upper layer labio rohita is the fish of the middle layer and barba sarana or sharputi and another one is uh, mrigala and the carpio these are the uh, fishes which are the bottom living but today it is not the under the consideration of releasing the fishes of different layers but because as we will culture the fish by using the different type of feed so we have to maintain the number there are two types of uh, releasing practice one practice is that is the releasing of fishes uh, per volume or the per decimal uh, then we apply a certain amount of fish fingerlings in uh, pond which is a combination of the different type of fishes that is Indian major carp or Bangladeshi major carp, Lebio Rohita, Mrigala, Katla, Silver Carp, Big Head, Carpio, Kalbashu etc and etc. This is the this is the traditional system but today there is a system which is known as also car fattening. In the car fattening, the size of the fingerling is the special uh, consideration and the number of the fingerling also a special consideration. That is, during the car fattening, if you like to uh, car fattening, then we have to release only 20, only 20 fingerlings which are comparatively larger in size. Suppose it may be not less than half kg or 400 gram per piece and we are to we are uh, go through we go through we may go through different strategies suppose uh, 10 fingerling per decimal or it may be 20 it may be 30 it may be 40 it may be 50 even 60 also but according to my experience what i got from my experiences the best one strategy is to release near about 20 fingerling in in the pond per decimal 20 fingerling in which it may be 7 to 8 labio rohita 7 to 8 suppose mrigala and one silver carp one big head one katla and one carpi also these are the best prepared, best uh, number that I suggest and as I got it from my experiences. What is the benefit of the less number of fingerling in a pond? The benefit of the less number of finger, uh, fingerling in the pond is that if you release very few numbers like 20, then there is a possibility or the chance of the pond to create different type of uh, natural feed which is known as zooplankton, phytoplankton and as well as chironomid or like the organism which are like earthworm. If we allow the few number then the different type of benefits that we have this is there is a competition of the fish which uh, just uh, fulfill the or the filling in the uh, bottom of the pond by uh, releasing fishes that is the stool of fishes it will be very less another one is if there be any deficiency of oxygen it may occur but it will not occur if you release a few number of uh, fingerling and we have to maintain them at the early stage near about two to three percent of uh, feet that is the supplementary feed which may be 
prepared by the farmer which contains near about 27 to 28 percent protein inclusion level and we have to maintain it it is better to apply it uh, that is 3 percent totally per day and it may be applied in total feed twice in a day that is 1.5 percent in the early that is uh, 10 to 11 am and the another one is um, another part that is the rest 1.5 percent that is in the next half that is at the afternoon but in case of carp culture it is enough more than enough if we if we, if we apply a total the total amount of feed you have to bind it and you have to observe it that when the color after applying of feed uh, you have to assess the requirement of feed is proper or not if you you find that the color of the pond or pond water is quite uh, reasonably green then you would be confirmed that the amount of feed is proper one but if the color become very very green it means the amount of feed is more so you have to uh, restrict the amount that is reduce the amount uh, of the feed on the other hand if the color show that color become somewhat transparent enough or somewhat turbid that means the feed is not fulfilling the requirement or the demand of the fish and after getting this feed it it is it is eating but it become the deficient one in such a condition the fishes moves in the different part of the pond to find out their required amount of feed so the water becomes somewhat turbid so we have to apply such amount of feed so that the water turns green uh, as we be satisfied with this color so some farmers also ask me that what will be the amount of feed that i apply and how would i assess it with your common sense or the optical observation we can assess it uh, the amount of the feed and there is a strategy in this case that is suppose we are trying or they taking the strategy of carp fattening then after four to five months after four to five months we have to reduce the near about 45 percent or 40 to 45 percent of the <coughs> fishes sorry that is we have to take out the fish out of 20 that is we, have, we would take out uh, near about eight fishes from this stock and mind it don't harvest the larger one of course you have to harvest the smaller one because having the same facilities same feed in the same environment some fishes become more and more larger and its growing growth rate is very high but some of the fishes it may it may it is also found in the uh, in the nature also in case of human being or any any animal being that is having the same facilities some species or some individuals grow are more and more but some are growing not satisfactorily so if you want to have the more and more better result then we have to collect the smaller ones <coughs> but don't remove or the harvest that is the katla silverka big head carpio except this species or four fishes we have to uh, take out near about uh, that is uh, rui and mrigala <coughs> four plus four that is we will harvest eight fishes and we will keep near about 12 fishes for the next crop and within seven seven months then you may get your optimum or satisfactory result and as you manage it you will be benefited and you will be satisfied that is uh, a fish of a half kg 
विद इन सेवन मंथ्स इट मे बी टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव के जी ऑल्सो एंड द क्ला वुड बी मोर एंड मोर लार्जर सो आई विल सजेस्ट यू टू रिलीज द बेटर परफॉर्मिंग फिंगरलिंग्स व्हिच इज सिलेक्टेड बाय योर टेस्ट दैट इज यू व्हेन यू विल परचेज और द रिलीज इन योर पॉन्ड द फिंगरलिंग देन यू वट टू सिलेक्ट द स्मार्ट मोस्ट एंड द फिंगरलिंग हैविंग रिफ्लेक्टिंग रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ सनलाइट ऑन इट एंड प्रोपर कलर एंड प्रोकार प्रोपर साइज एंड प्रोपर फिगर ऑल्सो एंड इज स्मार्ट एनफ देन यू विल बी कन्फर्म दैट इज द जेनेटिक इनफर्मेशन ऑफ द फिंगरलिंग इज क्वाइट प्रोपर एंड इट ग्रोथ रेट उड बी मैक्सिमम एंड देन यू विल गेट प्रोपर प्रोडक्शन और द ग्रोथ ऑफ द फिश आई थिंक इफ यू कैन डू इट एंड यू विल गेट द सेटिसफैक्ट्री रिजल्ट एंड इन इन साचे इन साचे पॉन्ट टूडे आई एम ऑल्सो suggesting uh, now i am suggesting the farmers to use the molasses or the or the sugar uh, once even in, once in a month that is 50 g of molasses or 20 g of sugar if it be available molasses then you will apply molasses if it will not be available <coughs> then you can apply <coughs> the sugar in the pond so that the ammonia of the pond uh, that is released from the fishes or the fishes fecal matter of the fishes that will be turned into nutri nutrients in which bioflora could be uh, occur and if you can you have to set a aerator then you will be benefited and bind it to have a safe crop you have to set a aerator if be possible for you and it is not mandatory to continue with 24 hours that is it will be better and uh, economically viable if you start it or the continue the uh, aerator right at at 12 that is at night 12 o'clock to morning up to 6 because this time oxygen deficiency may occur and if the aerator continue its service then the fishes will get maximum oxygen and with the help of the aerator the bacteria heterotroph bacteria will turn the ammonia which is present in the water into nutrients which will create the different type of feed which is known as bioflow and gradually i will post different uh, subject relating posts uh, if you be uh, quite a little bit benefited then try to learn or listen from the discussion and try it in your pond yourself don't take or don't completely depend upon the working hand of you and if you engage if you be able to engage yourself in the uh, pond culture or the fish culture you will be benefited thank you thank you all